Today, it's all about bees. Everyone loves bees, right? Well, not everyone, but most. And there's something comforting about seeing a bee buzz from flower to flower. A feeling that the universe is ticking away nicely in the background. But it's not all sunshine and lollipops, as you may have heard in the news. Bees are in trouble. Across the United States, honeybees are suffering from a mysterious condition known as colony collapse disorder, in which hives are found abandoned. And beyond the honeybee, evidence indicates declines in wild pollinators across both North America and Europe. The reason? Changes in agriculture. Wild flower meadows have been ploughed up. Hedges have been ripped out to form bigger fields. Pesticide use has massively increased, and humans have been trading bees around the world in tiny little boxes, causing the spread of disease. But why care? So, here, in no particular order, are my top five reasons why bees are important. One, food. It's not all about honey. Bees, both the wild ones and the ones we keep in hives, are critical for pollinating plants that produce a huge range of food, including blueberries, almonds, and beans. The global value of insect pollination is estimated at 153 billion euros every year. And while this figure includes contributions from, say, butterflies and beetles, most of the work is done by the bees. Still don't care? Commercially reared bumblebees are important pollinators of tomato plants. If the bees die out, these plants will have to be pollinated by hand using little vibrating wands, which is less fun than it sounds, and more expensive. Tomato growing could become unproductive. No tomatoes means no pizza, and a world without pizza is a sad and lonely place indeed. Two, biodiversity. Numerous creatures rely on bees for their own existence. Badgers will dig out the nest to feast on the juicy grubs. Bee eaters consume, well, you can probably guess what they consume. And a whole host of other creatures prey on or parasitize upon the bees, including the endangered oil beetle. Numerous wildflowers depend on bees for pollination. Take away the bees and there will be drastic consequences for both the plants and the animals that depend on them. The world will become a less colourful, less interesting place. 3. Bees fight crime. Not a joke. Bees have an excellent sense of smell, and in 2008, scientists developed a detector. Essentially, a box of bees trained to stick out their tongue if they caught a whiff of something dodgy, like explosives. An infrared sensor registers the movement in the bees' tongues and alerts security staff to the presence of danger. 4. Bees are watchdogs for environmental change. Or watch bees, if you're being picky. And speaking of picky, numerous bee species have extremely precise habitat requirements. And if that habitat undergoes a change, their populations will respond quickly. Now this makes bees potentially good indicators of environmental disturbance, including climate change. One recent example is the arrival of the tree bumblebee in the UK in 2001 from France. The species has now spread to cover over half the country, but fortunately it's not likely to have any negative impacts on native UK bees. 5. Ecosystem Services These are services to which bees contribute that go beyond just pollinating our food plants. Remember the wild plants pollinated by bees? Well, some of them will grow big and strong and soak up carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, a process known as carbon sequestration, potentially offsetting human-caused emissions. Their roots might bind the soil together, preventing erosion, and slow the seepage of water through the ground, helping to minimize floods. At present, no one's calculated the value of all these services, currently being provided for free, but as anyone who's ever stared through the window of a super expensive shop will know, just because there's no price tag doesn't mean something isn't extremely valuable. So, bees provide us with food, help maintain biodiversity, fight crime, 
act as indicators of environmental change and contribute to a whole load of ecosystem services. So the next time you order pizza or enjoy a blueberry muffin, spare a thought for the bees. Hi, I'm David. And I'm Phil. And we're conservation biologists and the presenters of a new show called EcoSapien, which explores the importance of the natural world and biodiversity. If you like this episode, or any other, why not hit the subscribe button? We need all the help and support we can get to continue producing the huge array of videos we hope to make. Thanks for watching.